now that we've got it all built and assembled, we're gonna get into leveling in that first setup, and we're gonna run off a couple test prints to see how it goes. Let's check it out. So one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do, this ships from the factory pretty tight, and if you keep these too tight, this can't move at all. And so if you hit the home button with this super tight, you may destroy your LCD screen right off the bat like I almost just did. So go ahead and first step, loosen these up a good bit just so this build plate has a little bit of room to wiggle around. Once we've got that, we're gonna hit home. We're gonna take a piece of paper and quickly, just like a garage door when you're running outside, put it underneath. So one of the reasons you're gonna wanna use this paper underneath the build plate is as this build plate lowers, you're gonna be flat level on your LCD screen. And when you sandwich this piece of paper in between it, if you start to pull it, you can feel the tension on this side and this side to see if it's got even resistance. And so as long as it does, once you tighten it, you're solid. So this will be good. And then we can raise it back up and, and put our vat in, put some resin inside it. So the goal of leveling the build plate, this dips down into your vat of resin. And so if this isn't leveled, it's not gonna cure correctly to the plate and you'll end up with no print. So when you hit the home, it'll go down, it'll lift up a little bit, and it'll go from there. And if you click underneath, you'll see that it's a zero, zero. So now what we have to do is keep this super tight to the build plate, tighten it up, and then once it's tightened, it should be solid. So you're gonna wanna keep your hand on the plate to kinda tighten it up a bit. And you wanna tighten it a little bit more than you would think because if it's not tight enough, it will still be wobbly. And if your surface isn't completely level when you're printing, you'll end up with a failed print. Okay. So now when you go to pull this, once you tighten it, you should feel a little bit of resistance, but it should feel equal on both sides. So at this point, we've got a level build plate, and we can go ahead and do our first test print. Put this vat in, tighten it up hand tight. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. And that won't go anywhere. Cool. Today we're gonna to be using the Anycubic UV resin. It's supposed to be more organic and a little bit better for you. I'm still using gloves, but I would use those every time. Go ahead and shake it up real good, and we'll fill it up to the max line. Make sure to check out the link in the description for the resin that we're using in today's video. Perfect. And once you've got your file ready to go, put it in the flash drive, we'll hit print. Today we're using the Anycubic Wash and Cure Station to both wash and clean our prints. This thing is such a lifesaver. Check out the link in the description below for more info. So now that this is done printing, we've washed it in our washing station, we've cured it, and if we get in close, we can see one of the main things we're looking for to dial in our exposure settings is where this infinity sign meets that pointy part. You want it to meet in as sharp of a point as possible. So here it looks pretty solid. Then we've also got a series of pins and pin holes getting smaller from the bottom over here so there's almost nothing, and then same with the holes. This one here is kind of like just a gradient of a hill that goes from level to like a Tony Hawk ramp. And then these, you're looking at the bars. You want these bars on the bottom to be about as big as this space here. So in theory, they can just kind of pinch together. So all of this looks really, really good and crisp. I'm gonna fire off a couple test prints and we'll see how they look with this level of detail. Catch you on the next one. Stay tuned in for the next video where we replace a FEP sheet and an LCD screen.